It's a better day. Welcome to Joel's Place, the Spiritual Lounge. What can a guy who is suffering lockdown in prison teach you about rejoicing and joy and contentment in life through Christ Jesus? Plenty if the person is the Apostle Paul. No other Christian has the life experience or spiritual wisdom like Paul. You can learn and practice the secrets he taught about contentment and joy in tough and difficult times. The prayer for contentment and joy in tough times follows this quick wisdom on the subject. Satisfaction has to do with what you feel when some event or object occurs. When your boss tells you that your job is not at risk, right there, an unexpected benefit from God enters a real-life business setting and you feel a great happiness. Contentment is a permanent state of mind, an inward attitude or outlook. When we are content, we adjust our desires to our lot in life, whatever that may be. When you are content, you have no envy or greed when others prosper and no delight when they suffer. For the believer in Christ, contentment arises from trust in the greatness of our God and His promises. Mary B. Peters captures the reality of contentment and joy in tough times. A verse in her hymn, All Will Be Well, says, We expect a bright tomorrow. All will be well. Faith can sing through days of sorrow. All, all is well. On our Father's love relying, Jesus, every need supplying, or in living, or in dying, all must be well. In the final analysis, your continuous contentment and complete joy in tough times hinges and revolves on your personal companionship and bond with Jesus Christ, remaining in Him, in His love, keeping His command. Now, as usual in this new series, Breakthrough with Prayer, we follow this quick wisdom from Joel's Place, the spiritual lounge, with a prayer. Be blessed by the prayer call, contentment and joy in tough times. Heavenly Father, I thank you that I am your child through Christ Jesus, my Lord. I rejoice in your holy word and I fully believe all your promises. Help me so that I might live and experience those promises which must come to pass in my life according to your will. Grant me the grace to accept that some of my hopes and plans and preferences might have not happened. Still, I thank you for your many blessings and benefits. In your great love, help me to accept that your plans for me are the best, even though tough, troubled times stalk the land. I rest in the sure knowledge that your loving kindness and your faithfulness will keep me content, will keep me joyful, and will keep me safe. So I walk with the contentment and the joy that comes from you. I walk with no fear. You are with me. This I ask and pray in the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs>